button. This is my 98 XJ here. And I just replaced the cylinder head. And in the process, I had gone and removed the distributor. And I'd also cranked um, on the crankshaft manually while it was out. And so in putting it in, uh, it has to be put in just, um, just right. And so I wanted to make a video here on how to do that. Uh, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to have that number one piston at top dead center. And the easiest way I found to do that was just to remove uh, this hose and this hose and go ahead and take the spark plug out. And I just got a good flashlight uh, to look in there, manually cranked it over, and I could visually see that piston stop moving when it reached, you know, top dead center. And so uh, that's how I did that. But I want to show you the distributor putting this in on this engine because it'll make uh, a better video here. But again, you can see, so we're at top dead center, okay, the number one piston. We're going to go ahead and just take this out. I've already taken the mounting bolt out. And actually, I'm going to remove this cap first, the distributor cap, and just pull this out. But notice that rotor turn as you're pulling it. Because that it's going to also turn when you're putting it in, and it's just got to be positioned just right. Okay, so if you look down there, uh, that slot is where your oil pump is, where that distributor meets that oil pump and turns that to turn your pump. So in the book, it says that when you want you want that at the eleven o'clock position when this is at top dead center. Okay, to put this back in there. Now, what it's talking about is if you're on the passenger side of the engine and you're looking at it this way, you've got 12 o'clock here, you know, your 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and your 9 o'clock, okay? So if that helps orient you, then good, because that took me a little bit to sort out. So that's the position that you want that slot in when you go to put the distributor in. If it's not, just go ahead take a screwdriver and get into that slot and just turn it into that position, okay? So that's how you want it. So now, what you want to do here is you want to take your distributor, go ahead and take your rotor off, okay? This is the camshaft positioning sensor. Go ahead and take it off, okay? Now you'll see in here that you've got four different holes, okay? Now this one right here by my finger needs to line up with the hole in the distributor, okay? Right there. So right where that bar is of that distributor lines up with that hole. And what you want to do is you want to take a punch tool, just a little punch has the tapered end, okay? You want to put it into that hole where it meets the distributor right there. That holds it in the place that you want to keep it, okay, when you're doing this. So go ahead and insert that. Now it won't move on you. It will a teeny bit, but not enough to do anything. So that's where you want it for your timing to be just right. Okay, so now you're going to take the whole unit and in the book, it talks about this right here. The bottom plate of the distributor needs to be at the one o'clock position when you put this in. Okay? So go ahead and do that. So if you can see here, that base right there is at the one o'clock position. Okay? So go ahead and insert that. Now I'm going to take a better angle here so you can see this. But as you turn this down, the entire distributor will turn. And when it lines up, you want it to line up just right with that hole where that bolt goes into your engine block. Okay? So now, if it goes just smooth, you've got it right in the exact place that it needs to be. Okay, go ahead, take your punch out. This is not going to turn anymore because it's 
in the position. It's locked in there how it needs to be. And go ahead and put your camshaft positioning sensor back on. Now take your rotor. This is a good way to double check that you did it right. Put your rotor on. Now that rotor should be at the 5 o'clock position, okay, or just after. But if you were looking at it, you could see that that was 6 o'clock there. Then it's just right at the 5 o'clock position, okay. That's exactly where you want it. Go ahead, put your distributor cap back on. Okay, make sure that your wires are put in the right spot and are routed to the correct cylinder. And that is how you do timing on, I think it's 95 and later Jeep Cherokees. So I hope that helps you out. Bye-bye.